Okay, moving onward, we saw in section 10.1 that if H is a subgroup of a group G, then right cosets of H are not always the same as left cosets. We had one example, and that group was non-abelian. It was the group of S3. Uh, I remember that the group was S3, and the subgroup was, uh, I think it was the ID, and say 1, 2. And if you work through that, you'll find the left cosets and the right cosets are not the same. But sometimes they do match, even for non-abelian groups. Sometimes it's always, sometimes it's true for all cosets that GH equals HG. And subgroups that satisfy this property play a critical role in group theory, and they allow for construction of new classes of groups called factor or quotient groups. Basically, if you have a subgroup that has this property, you can divide the big group by this small group and get another group. Okay, so let's go on with that idea. So we're going to define normal subgroups. A subgroup of group G is normal if all the less cosets are also right cosets. All right, so you can have go through examples. I'll pass this by. We had one case where it wasn't normal. Okay, and uh, have some exercises to determine whether things are normal. Okay. All right, let's see. So here we have a proposition. Let G be a group. Let H be a subgroup of G with index 2. Then H is a normal subgroup of G. So isn't that interesting that no matter whether the group is abelian or non-abelian, if I know that the group has, subgroup has index 2, what does that mean? Group has, subgroup has index 2 means here's G, here's H, and H divides G in half. There's H, and then there's another coset, which I could call GH. So H divides G into two parts. And in this case, H must be normal. In particular, we know that AN has half as many elements of SN as SN. AN is the even permutations on N letters. SN is the all permutations on N letters. So the even permutations consist of half of the all permutations. So that means that, so let me just draw that picture. We have AN here and SN. So this means that, a, that AN is normal. AN is normal. Right, and here's a, a proof that you'll be asked to do. Now any subgroup of an abelian group is normal. And we can also characterize this normal subgroups by this weaker condition. H is normal if and only if every left coset is also a right coset. Okay. All right, so here we have a proposition that says uh, if we want to prove a certain subgroup is normal, we're going to have a few equivalent conditions. So let's see. N is normal if and only if G and G inverse is contained in N or GNG inverse is equal to N. These two are equivalent means that as soon as you prove GN inverse, GNG inverse is contained in N, automatically you have GNG inverse equals N. Okay. And here's the proof. Uh, basically, you can show from this that left cosets are equal to right cosets. Uh, and uh, vice versa, from, if you have left cosets equal to right cosets, you can show this is true. All right, so we'll be talking about G and G inverse, and uh, that's actually called an inner automorphism. Uh, but uh, G and G inverse uh, is always equal to N, then the subgroup N is normal. Okay. Okay, so uh, here's an alternative definition using that other one. Okay. All right, so here we have that the intersection of normal subgroups is normal. And some more exercises. So a lot of exercises here for you to work things out. 